Hello, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jack, Jack Martin, to the stars. Yes. Tell me. Yes. What your thoughts are on hair loss because every woman in Dubai believes it is water that is causing their hair loss, which Dr. Natalia and I have experimented on and decided categorically that it is not the water. What are your thoughts on hair loss? You know, definitely, I believe that water really can affect the hair. I know for sure, you know, it can dry the hair. It can strip the color from the hair. And once the hair gets dry, it starts breaking. You know, sometimes it breaks from the roots, you know, because dry, uh, uh, I mean, uh, hard water dries also the scalp. So definitely, if they can install uh, um, like a water softener, you know, tank, or if they can uh, install um, like a shower, um, what do you call it, a filter, you know, in their shower, that will help a lot. And that happened to many of my clients. They are, they were suffering from fading their color within one wash. And that was the hard water, you know? So I don't know in Dubai what kind of water they have, but I know it's water that been um, um, purified or like uh, it's been filtered from the sea, right? It's desalinated, but it is the same. We tested it and it's the same as London water. Uh, okay, okay. Well, how is London water? Is it a hard water or? Well, women don't don't tell us that they're losing hair when they live in London. They only come to Dubai and say Dubai is making me lose lose hair. Yeah. Well, well. Anyway, you know what? It does not hurt to uh, to install a filter in their shower, you know, and or or to to experiment on this. Try to wash your hair with drinking water for a few times to see if there is any difference, you know, in your hair, how it feels. Then you will know if it's the water or not. Yes. If you stop this and try to use something different to see if, if there is any improvement. But anyway, uh, speaking about losing hair, we do a lot of bad habits yes. in our daily routine, styling the hair. I mean, most of the bad habits is like, you know, we get out of the shower and uh, we have a knotted hair and we start fighting with the hair, with the comb. And we and at the end, you know, you look at the brush and then you have a ball, a complete ball of hair sticking to the brush. And we think this is normal. It's not because the hair, when it's wet, it's at a stage that it's very weak. The cuticle are open and it could break so easily. So what I recommend in this case is that the hair, uh, dry the hair about 70 to 80% and start gently, you know? You can apply a little bit of a leave-in conditioner after you dry it 70%, you know, apply it like K18, for example, and start brushing it because K18 is meant to be to repair the hair and it meant to be also a detangler of the hair makes the hair extremely smooth. And if you look at your brush, you will see tremendous less amount of hair, you know, sticking to your brush. Definitely. Well, and also, go sorry, ahead. I was going to say, since you came to Dubai and told me about this, I now turban my hair up, literally wash it, come out of the shower, turban up, leave it in the turban until it's 75, 80% dry. Got my K18 which I put through my hair when it's almost dry, leave it on for four minutes, and then the brush goes straight through it. Not a See? Tangle. It's magic. Yes. It is magic. K18 is magic. I recommend everybody to use it, and hopefully it's going to be available in Dubai very soon. You know, But in the meanwhile, also, it's the lady's job to find a good hair colorist that care about the hair and that carry very, you know, good hair product in there. Because, you know, being a knowledgeable stylist, it makes a huge difference in the customer's life, especially when it comes to hair, because they will be able to recommend what their hair need. They will be also to show the clients uh, some good habits to save their hair. And also they will use the best product chemical product on their hair 
while they're visiting the salon. So definitely uh, uh, overprocessing the hair at the salon when, when some hairdressers are busy and they cannot wash the client's hair at the time where, when it's supposed to be washed just because they, they take three, four clients at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like that. I like also when I have a chemical uh, client to, to monitor it and be on top of it and make sure there is no overprocessing. And also chemicals and heat. Like for example, if you have a client that she wants a highlight or she wants to lighten her hair, you know, you put the bleach on, you stick her under the dryer, this is a no-no. This is number one causing for breakage and hair loss. So let it uh, process, even if it's gonna take longer time, let it process at a room temperature you know, for much better results, you know. So definitely customers have bad habits in, uh, at home. Stylists have bad habits at the salon and a combination of the two causes a lot of uh, hair loss. So, but any lady that listening to us and she's suffering from hair loss, she needs to look at two, uh, two different uh, sectors. Uh, internal and external, internal by checking her blood and make sure she doesn't have any deficiency of, uh, you know, um, lacking of any um, uh, vitamins and then vitamins or, or she has any problem with her thyroid or because this is all cause a problem in, in the hair loss. And then if everything's okay, then she will look at, you know, the water habits, uh, what kind of product she's using because not every single product out there works with the hair. You know, you have to see for yourself and judge it. Oh, you know what? I did not have that much of shedding before I use this new product that I'm using. So maybe this new product is not working for you. So you have to be aware of what you're using and how your hair feels before and after. Is, is there a rule of less product is best? Can you? It's always... It's always, we, we have a say in our uh, industry is less is always more. Right. So do not, do not apply too much product to your hair. And that will also apply to K18. K18, the less you use, the better the results. Right. Right. So defi definitely less product, definitely, and less heat. Less heat. So that means less fewer guys ladies um one exactly is that in dubai ladies go for blow dries every week if not more often that is going to cause damage that's that's absolutely and plus hairdressers in general including dubai i know that when a client comes for that day they want to do them they they want to do their best to make the hair looks completely perfect for that day but it will cause a lot of damage because they are so extreme. <clears throat> they put a lot of pressure in blow drying. Yeah. And, but that's, I would like to advise hairdresser to make sure <clears throat> they apply heat protectant on the hair. They apply a leave-in conditioner and then they blow dry and style the hair. At least we prep the hair before. And if the client knows that they won't use that, you know, get your own product. Get your own uh, uh, heat protectant and give it to the stylist. Tell them, you know, I would like you to apply this before you blow dry. Be on control of your stuff. Yeah. Be knowledgeable about your hair. Yes. So, so sensible. And that's why Jane Fonda picked you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It was it was really a great experience, like I told you before, oh, you know. I, so. know. I know. <laughs> How many hours was it? It was about eight hours, you know, and uh, th then, as I told you before, she was extremely busy <clears throat> reading her, you know, dialogue for her uh, upcoming uh, TV show and also doing some, uh, uh, you know, final touches to her book that already been released. So she not even look at me working on her hair because she trusted me completely. But when we revealed the hair after I finished, she was completely shocked and she told me you are a musician jack and that's yeah. I'm, I'm honored to hear that from her you know oh, you are thank you so much for helping you me. are so welcome it's, it's always it's always a pleasure 
Thank you, my dear Caroline. And big women all over the world with their hair loss issues. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope what we just talked about, you know, makes, uh, uh, you know, a woman think a little bit more about their hair and take care of it, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, my dear.